talk about how to compare fractions. So for example, we have a fraction 3 fifth and 2 third. Which fraction is greater? Many, many ways to do it. You could do it the drawing method. You could do it turning fractions to decimals. If you do do the drawing method, I draw a fraction circle, which is one whole. I divide it into five parts. I shade in three of them. One, two, three. And the other one, two-third, draw a fraction circle, one whole. I cut it into three equal parts, and I shade in two of them. So according to this picture, which picture is greater? I can't tell, actually. Hence, the drawing method sometimes is not the best one. So, let's turn fractions into its decimal equivalents. Remember we learned there are two ways to do it. It's called out of a hundred or the typo method. So, let's see. Three-fifth. Can I go into a hundred? I think it can. Can two-third go into a hundred? No, I think we're going to use typo. So let's start with the first one. Three-fifth. Can I go into a hundred out of a hundred? Yes, you multiply by a scale factor of 20 and you get 60 hundred or zero and 60 hundredths. For two-thirds, since it cannot go in a hundred, we're going to do typo. Who's on top? Two. Who's on the bottom? Three. Goes out. How many placeholders do you need? Let's put three placeholders. Can three go in two? No. Decimal point. Can three go in 20? Six times. Two is the remainder. I bring down to zero. Can three go in 20? Six times. You know what? I think it's repeating again. Can three go in 20? Six times. It does repeat. Don't forget the repeating bar. So we have 666,600. Let's add a placeholder here. So which fraction is greater, 666,000 or 600,000? Two-third is greater. The way I show greater is two dots for the bigger fraction, one dot for the smaller. Connect the dot. Two-third is greater than three-fifths. Remember the alligator or Pac-Man? So let's do the next one. You have 19 50th and 3 8 Which one is greater? I'm going to do the... Turn fractions to decimal. So can this go into 100? Yes, it can. It goes in twice. So I multiply by the scale factor of 2. I get 38 hundredths, or 0 and 38 hundredths. For 3, 8. Can 3, 8 go into 100? Not quite. So top goes in. Bottom goes out. Let's put three placeholders. If you don't know your 8s, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. Let's number them. So, can 8 go in 3? No. Decimal point. Can 8 go in 33 times, which is 24? Regroup. 6 is the remainder. Bring down to 0. Who is closest to 60? 7 is. That's 56. 60 minus 56 is 4. I bring down the 0. Can 8 go in 45 times? So, you have 375 thousandths. Not repeating. Um, let's add a placeholder here. So that's 380,000. Which one is greater? Two dots, one dot. 1950 is greater than 38. And our last example are mixed numbers. So it's 4 and 310. So it's 4, point, or four and something something. Then can this go in 100? Yes, it can. You multiply by a scale factor of 10, and you get 30. So it's 4 and 30 hundredths for this one. Can one-third go into 100? Not quite. So we're going to have to do tie bow. Let me use a purple pen. Can one top goes in, bottom goes out. Again, you put three placeholder. Can three go in one? Nope. Can three go in 10? Three times. Can 3 go in 10? 3 times. Can 3 go in 10? 3 times. So you have 4 and 333 
thousand. It's a repeating decimal. Don't forget the repeating bar. Oh, don't forget the placeholder right here. So which one's greater, four and three hundred thirty-three thousandths or four and three hundred thousandths? Three hundred thirty-three is thirty-three thousandths large greater than that. So two dots for four and one third, one dot for four and three ten, connect the dot. So four and one third is greater than four and three ten. So you can do it a drawing method, but you know what? If you turn it to a decimal, you will always get the answer correctly. So you either do the out of a hundred or Tybo method, and then you Find a decimal equivalency. If it goes to the thousandth place, don't forget the placeholder. So this is comparing fractions.